Let me take you back for a moment. Do you remember back in the day how you said there were certain things you just couldn't deal with? It might have been drama with a woman. It could have been children from a previous relationship. Maybe it was her mouth being just a little overzealous, shall we say. Typically, as men, we set boundaries. There are things we simply don't tolerate. That may not be the case in every area and in every facet of our lives, but men are often a bit better naturally at setting boundaries around deal breakers than women. I wanted you to consider what healthy boundaries look like because I want to clarify a boundary that as men, we all need to set. Confident, charismatic men want to develop leadership skills and healthy relationships. One thing that's unacceptable is a toxic relationship. Toxic relationships are counterintuitive to everything we are and everything we're continually working to become. We have to weed out things that are not good for us and don't make us better as men, fathers, leaders in our relationships, homes, and communities. Toxic relationships destroy who we are. They break down our confidence. They challenge our leadership. They often question our manhood and they're completely unhealthy. Gentlemen, we're going in on this one. Ladies, you'll want to take note. This is real stuff. Let's get it. <laughs> Unhealthy is not an option. I have three important points to make on this topic of toxic relationships, but honestly, bruh, we could stay right here for the entire video. Unhealthy relationships are intolerable relationships. Relationships are living, breathing organisms. If they aren't getting better, fam, they're getting worse. That's okay if it's something you recognize and put in the work to make it better. The problem is when a relationship becomes toxic. Dr. John Gottman of the Gottman Institute has a model called the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, which refers to the Four Horsemen cited in the Bible, but it's used to parallel a relationship that's heading towards its end. The Four Horsemen are criticism, contempt, defensiveness, and stonewalling. If you're doing any one or more of these things in your relationship, it's becoming unhealthy. For example, Contempt is the greatest predictor of divorce in any marriage. So imagine what happens if you're dating and you have contempt for each other. When we have contempt for each other, we make the other partner feel less than us or worthless. For example, if I were to say to my partner, you've been working all day, you need to stop. You're on the computer or the phone or the internet all day, just ignoring work. You really don't do anything. You're just wasting time. You need to get a real job and stop being lazy and pitiful. I really don't even want to deal with you right now. You know what? You're a hot mess. That's an example of showing contempt. It's not healthy, bruh. Research shows that couples that show contempt are more likely to get a cold or the flu due to a weak immune system. This is how impactful and literally unhealthy contempt is in our relationships. When you take unhealthy habits and traits off the table, you create a system of making sure work is done to get to the root cause of any issue. If you agree early in the relationship that when we feel one of the four horsemen coming on or we start blaming the other partner for our issues, we will talk to a therapist or coach or counselor. We're cutting off toxic behavior at the pass. Everyone can develop toxic behavior, fam, how you deal with the onset of the challenge is critical. I'm encouraging you in every relationship you have, discuss with your partner now how we agree to handle things when times get tough. Things like name calling, the silent treatment, blaming you for an issue, becoming defensive in every conversation have to be signals that it's time to get another party involved. Men, take the lead on this. Whatever is required, to have meaningful conversations with someone who can help, make sure to take advantage of the opportunity. Do everything possible to make sure that unhealthy is not an option in your relationship. Toxic has consequences. A big problem with people in toxic relationships 
is that we're so numb to the pain, we don't realize the devastation it causes in other people. Children, parents, other family members, they can all be hurt by what you're going through. People you work with, even people who may be keeping secrets for you or keeping secrets from you. Toxicity is literally just that, and it spreads like a nuclear disaster when it's left untreated. Men, if you're dating a woman who brings toxic energy around your family, consider how that could impact the children that you're raising. You know, we're imperfect beings, but we want to show our children the best possible people as examples in their young lives. Being in toxic relationships can put people in very precarious positions. What if you're dating someone that's dealing with an addiction and it's affecting your job or your financial situation? How do you deal with it? Please get help for your partner, but protect yourself and your situation first. You can't help a person that's not healthy by allowing them to use and or abuse you. Then when you're tapped out, becoming upset about the fact that they took advantage of the situation. They're toxic, bruh, or the relationship itself is toxic. They don't know any better or they can't exist outside of toxicity. You have to step back, make sure you're good, then help if you can or if it makes sense. If not, you have to move on and allow them to work out their challenges on their own. Toxicity does indeed have consequences, but we cannot tolerate those consequences changing the trajectory of our lives. If this is your first time on the channel, I'm Jay Hurt. Welcome to The Confident Charismatic, where we talk about charisma, confidence, and winning at life. Now, let's touch on number three, the toll of toxicity. Toxic relationships take such an incredible toll on people in those relationships. Often, a casualty of toxicity is a lack of taking care of ourselves. Self-care is necessary and it's a requirement for us to be the best version of ourselves. We often get swept up into trying to please or satisfy the other person and losing oneself in the process. No relationship is worth losing yourself to try to save a bad relationship or to placate another's deficiencies. We're amazing men and we're simply not doing this. Another toll of toxicity is challenging your level of confidence. When you develop confidence as a man, it's something to take pride in, yet carry it with humility. Toxic relationships make you start to question your ability to reason, your authority, your leadership skills. One of the things leaders do in organizations is they work to weed out the toxic people and relationships inside of their organization. Think of toxicity in an organization like a cancer. You have to heal or remove the cancer. There's not time to waste. Cancer spreads if it's left untreated. Toxic relationships are powerful in a bad way. It can wreck your business, your marriage, your career, or your organization. When you're confident and leading your life, make it a point to clarify and define the toxicity in your life and heal it or remove it quickly without fail. You know what fam? Confidence and toxicity don't play well in the sandbox. One has to dominate, the other must submit. I'm going to encourage you to lean on your instincts and your discernment. Listen to those internal thoughts and your values. When you know you're in a toxic relationship, protect yourself first. Protect your heart, protect your mind, protect your soul, protect your spirit and your masculinity, and finally, your confidence. There's no room for toxicity in our lives. We can love people from a distance and support them any way we can while not putting ourselves in harm's way. If we're going to put ourselves in harm's way, we have to give them space to work out their healing and growth on their own. This makes me think of the Tyler Perry movie, Diary of a Mad Black Woman. The character that is Tyler's wife is dealing with drug addiction. He had to leave her to allow her to work on her addiction, even to the point that she finally made her own decision to detox and get clean. This is often how we have to allow others to make decisions to work through the toxicity in their lives. We can't do it for them, bruh. 
We have to protect ourselves, yet pray for them and allow them to do their own work. My man, if you're watching this channel, we know charisma is your superpower, but keep in mind that your values and self-esteem are your cornerstone. Never let anyone jeopardize those or take those from you.